All right, so in this video, I just want to show how you can mimic the Hello World project. That's the first one that they kind of recommend you do on the Shipoko machines. Uh, they send you a marker and some zip ties with the unit, and you can uh, load their G-code, and instead of cutting something, you actually just use the marker to draw a design, uh, the Shipoko logo, I think, onto a piece of paper. So that's cool and all, but you're really just using everything they have. So I want to show you how you can mimic that yourself. So the first thing you gotta do is come into Carbide Create. This is the app that ships with the software. Uh, and so this is a, we're starting from scratch here, so we have to go into the gear here, this is the settings. And we have to tell it the stock size. So in this case, I'm just using an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So I'm gonna put that in here. The stock thickness is sort of relative at this point. I mean, it's important when you're cutting, but since we're just drawing, I can make this any number I want. Uh, tool path, zero, I like starting in the lower left-hand corner. Uh, I don't have a ton of experience with CNC yet, but it just sort of makes good sense to me. You could also start in the center or somewhere else if you wanted, but leave that there for now. Uh, the material, again, this doesn't really matter because we're drawing, so I'm just going to say wax. I'm going to tell what machine I have. I've got an XL, and we're going to leave it on inches because metric seems hard. Okay, so we did that. Now we're kicked over to the design tab, so I can reset my view. This is my 8.5-11 .5 sheet of paper. Uh, if we want to put some text in, we just click on text, and that puts that in for us. It's highlighted, you can tell, because it's in this orangish, reddish color. And then we can just sort of say whatever we want. So I want to say doing the, I actually want to say doing the things, but this doesn't support multi-line. Then we're going to pick some really cool font. Jeez, there's lots of them. Huh. Uh, this sounds nice. Okay. So then uh, we can't just drag these things to make them bigger. We have to do it uh, through the size portion here. So I want to say that the height is going to be two inches. Uh, and then I'll just say apply. So that gives us this guy. Put it there. I wonder, did I set this right? We're going to make this just a little bit smaller. Let's call it 1.75. Okay, that looks better. So we'll put that there. Uh, we want to add another line. So we're going to put some more text in. We're going to make that the right same height as the other one. And then um, we're going to say things. And then here, we're going to scroll down to that crazy font that I found. Bit bold italic. There we go. So uh, when we're done with this, we can just click off or we can say unselect. And now we can also create some other images. So let's create a square. To do that, you click in the middle of where you want to start and then you just drag out. You don't hold down. So I'm going to drag out to here. I'll click again. And then I can kind of move it around a little bit. Um, so this is a little bit. For width, we'll go down to maybe 10. Yeah, it's a little bit closer and that looks good. And then we can change kind of the design, uh, the corners at least, move to a chamfer, so we'll say apply. So there we go. So now we've got multiple objects. We can select them in a couple of different ways. Uh, the easiest is just to drag and select the ones you want, but you can also click on one and then hold down uh, if you're on a Mac, you hold down the command key. I think on Windows, you use the control key. So, but this is what we want. So we're, we're done with the design portion. So now the important piece is the toolpath. So if we go over to toolpath tab, it tells us to select one or more. So we're going to select all of them. And then for now, we're really just focusing on the contour piece. So we're going to say contour. This is the depth thing I was talking about before. So. We'll say use stock top, that's assumed to be zero, because when you zero the bit uh, um, before you start cutting, that is zero as far as the machine is concerned. And then the depth here we're going to change. We're going to change this to 0 0.001, because it can't just be zero. We have to give it something. So we'll say that. So it's going to move just a hair. And then our offset, we don't want an offset. Uh, we want it just to follow the lines. So we say no offset. And so we end up with something that looks like this. Call this my tool path. 
half. Uh, and then we just we can also select the bit. Uh, that doesn't really matter at this point either. This is a pretty small one, so we'll just leave it there. And we'll say OK. So now we can select this and then look at the simulation. Uh, does this, I think, just shows doesn't really matter. But when we do this, it's going to be blank. And it's blank because our toolpath depth doesn't really show. It doesn't really move far enough to actually cut something in the simulation. So we can hide this, go in here again, and change this for now to like 0 0.5. And say OK. And now, if we select this and go down here and say show simulation, voila. So that's kind of what it will look like. right? Uh, so we're going to hide this again. We're going to change this back to our 0 0.001. Say OK. And now what we need to do is just save this off. So we hit the Save G Code button. Uh, we tell it what we want to save it. And give it a name. So I'm going to call this uh, OK, and then that's it. We just save it. All right, so now that the file is saved, we have to go into a different app. Carbine Motion, which is the actual application that controls the machine itself. So we'll load that up, it connects to the machine, detects it, and then we want to jog the head to zero, or the starting point. But if this is the first time you powered it on, it's going to want to do homing. So homing is where it'll move the, the head all the way to the back right corner to hit all the limit switches to, to figure out you know, where it is. And once this is done, it'll return us to jog. And then once we're in jog, there's a couple ways we can move around the board. Rapid position is kind of nice. Uh, you can just pick where on the board you want it to go quickly. So we say here front, uh, middle, moves the head there. Then if we leave rapid position, we can use just X, Y, and Z buttons uh, to move the head where we want it. So there's a move increment. Fast obviously moves uh, most quickly. As we get closer to where we want to be, we'll use the slower increments so we're not driving the head into the stock or, or damaging anything. So we use the buttons, we position it. This is where, remember, um, we decided we we're going to use the lower left as the starting point when we were in Carbide Create. So we need to position the pen or the marker tip here to be in the bottom lower left of the sheet of paper. So we're positioning it there. You want the marker just touching. Uh, it is going to go down a little bit um, based on the toolpath we defined, but it was like 0 0.001 inches, so it's not much. Uh, and if we want to make sure we're close enough, we can use a small scrap of paper or something in between the board and the marker just to make sure that we're making uh, good contact with it. And so we'll adjust it a little further down here. And then once we feel like it's at the zero position, we need to tell the machine that this is the new zero. Because you can see based on the positions that it has right there, it doesn't think it's at zero right now. So we'll hit the set zero button here. And then we will tell it that this new position is the new zero. So we'll zero everything out, and then we'll say done. And all we have to do is then load the G code to run the job. So we'll hit load. We'll pick the G code file. We saved at a carbide motion. And then we just say run. And we hit run, it's going to do a couple things. Uh, at first, it's going to ask you to hit the play button. We'll do that. It'll move. Then it'll ask you uh, to put in the right tool. It's already in there, so we just hit continue again. And then the machine will start moving. 